Figueroa opened general video and music in Passaic 25 years ago. She's been selling music and movies to loyal customers ever since. I have good customers, you know, residents of Passaic, they're very good customers. She admits being in an urban enterprise zone helps. Shoppers in the zone pay 3.5 percent sales tax instead of the regular 7 percent. Tom Damiano manages a pharmacy in the zone. We do it, and the primary reason that we do it is because we want to help our customers the most we can. UEZ money goes back to municipalities to strengthen the local economy. If Governor Christie gives it back to the state, Assemblyman Gary Shear feels the governor will defeat the purpose. To take those funds away means that unemployment will go up, opportunity will go down, and rather than having flourishing businesses in our cities, which will take them out of this economic crisis and economic malaise, we're going to be doing just the opposite. The assemblyman says UEZ has helped improve a lot of things here in the city of Passaic, including an historic building that is now undergoing renovations. We're looking to sell it now, um, and it'll help bring new jobs to Passaic, which is what UEZ is all about. He says it also helped Passaic hire more police officers and landscape urban areas. It helped pay for this new canopy at Maria's store, something she couldn't afford otherwise. She just hopes the governor will reconsider. In Passaic, Don Pellis, News 12, New Jersey. A 2007 study suggests urban enterprise zones created 150,000 new jobs since they were created back in the early 80s. And now the state estimates that the UEZs bring in about $91 million every year.